glad that you can hear me. Good morning. And um, this is the front entrance of my garden. As you can see, um, this has been all laid down by kind of tiles and slate left over wood to cover it and to make sure there's not much weed going through it. Still a lot, but that's all we can do. I think compared to the intro you saw, uh, it was kind of a completely different view. Um, this was completely covered by uh, a few trees and now it's back. Uh, and I think my, my dad had put another layer of cement on top so to, to make it. That used to be a glass house. So this is one of the hardest thing to do, I think. Um, to do the glass house, we took out all of the glass, replaced it with kind of waterproof uh, roofs and stuff like that, metal roofs. And now it's a storage unit. Um, this bit is kind of as it is. We have kind of uh, cut down all these trees from different places and, and filled it up with cement. Um, but I remember this bit was the worst bit. As you can see, this is kind of a concrete area and it goes all the way, all the way at, to the end of this glass house. Um, and the reason I said this is the worst area is because it's so hard to get all the mud out of the kind of uneven areas. Um, you might be able to see around here, there's all sorts of bruise and stuff like that. So it took about, I would say it took about a year, a bit to just clear this to back to its like concrete floor. This is so much mud and all these side have this grown in it and we scraped it off and there's also the very horrendous wheat growing on the other side. That's our neighbor side so that's pretty bad there. Um, that we created just this year. Um, well, just now, actually, um, just a pathway to go to, uh, the other side could light up a fire inside, but I don't think that that is too old for, we got to replace that barrel. Um, also we've got the, uh, the chairs. So those are, those are in really bad condition when we first started. Um, yeah, so kind of really horrendous. And this ground was not level. I think you can see the mud marks right here. You can see how high it was before I kind of leveled it up. And that is all leveled. Um, I think my dad built a shed, another small shed for wood and stuff. This hasn't been done just yet because um, we don't know what to do with it yet. Uh, with all the wood, uh, wooden like a bark thing, we put around trees kind of to stop the weed growing again. Uh, that is still under construction, but this was before. So beforehand you couldn't find all these tiles. Uh, these are all kind of uh, under about two or three inches of soil and these as well all these was growing like tons of weed and stuff and I remember we we start burning it sort of in this area so you can still see some uh, burn marks around we start making a fire everywhere and that is one of it um, I forgot to introduce you to our new kind of drying rack area uh, so that's a new area that my dad built kind of about a week ago 
and for this stone and cement he managed to reuse some of the stone um, and got this area done and it's kind of nice now so we've got all these going in uh, this this road as well is kind of a very special one so as you can see this road it goes from one side to the other and what's special about it is the deep grooves so look at how deep these grooves are and beforehand um, it was to just clear this path was kind of a big deal it's, it's kind of impossible to do but um, we it took me about five or six days kind of to it's been a kind of I haven't been doing it for like, like best part of a year and a half and now I got back to it I cleared all these paths up from the mud most mostly there's still a few things uh, kind of embedded at the very end of it so these are very hard to get uh, we'll get back to it and and if you don't care for it weeds start growing underneath because it's, some of them have some soil gaps so pre it gets pretty pretty annoying very quickly also our neighbors have not wheat japanese want wheat which is kind of invasive species um, so that's not good this part one park i've used barked i'm planning to use bark on all this area but this is quite a good area because it's got the nature or the leaves dropping down so i don't need to do much work uh, that is just editors right now i think i will tweak it a bit um, and line this area up and we'll cut off from the tree lines and the rest of the area will be stone um, yeah found this out kind of a month ago these tiles it's just underneath the soil so yeah um, i kind of level this up this area as you can see all all the tree uh, a bit of the side has been cut uh, it's just how it is at the moment um, because if you don't cut it it will just overgrow um, red tiles from out of nowhere um, yeah it, it wraps around and I don't know where it's going but this area we're definitely not sorting out it's gonna be too much time um, trees going from here all the way up so you can see and then this area pot area and I've cleared up all these and I don't know what how you can see it but definitely the mud level is around that there it's not too good let me focus it yeah it's better but it's really bad so now I've got all the under uh, under four anti weed control down. Uh, I will set this part up today as well. And that should be it. That's the full garden view, and I hope you like it. It's, it took me about a year and a half to two. In the middle, I didn't do anything because it's just too hard to have work in the winter. Um, but now I am again. Uh, and it is looking a lot better and hopefully you like it do subscribe I'm trying to put out a video every week about something new 